Hello, this is Asian Movie Pulse Bad Accent Reviews and I am Adriana Rosati and today I'm going to talk about a movie that was um, recently screened at the Helsinki uh, Cine Asia uh, Film Festival. Um, the film is I Am What I Am by director Shinya Tamada. Um, I Am What I Am is the third feature film for Shinya Tamada who is a director that uh, has got lots of experience in theatre and television dramas and um, is also the third film of a project called um, Not Heroin Movies, um, initiated by the Nagos <coughs> Nagoya Broadcasting Network. And uh, it's a project that has got the intent of subverting a bit the stereotypical female roles in, in films. And in this case, the cliché that they want to subvert, subvert is the classic romantic drama, comedy, dramedy. Um, the film's opening introduces us immediately in the complicated world of the protagonist, Kasumi, uh, who is played by Toko Miura, <clears throat> who we, we have seen recently in um, Drive My Car. And um, it's uh, she's on a night out with co-workers of the call center where she works, and the two guys uh, cannot stop talking and asking about the girls about romantic attraction. They are testing boys if they want to go out, if they want to have a romance, and and so on. And Kazumi is um, is uh, is very reluctant and very embarrassed at the point. That at some point, she she just leaves and and go to the to a ramen shop <clears throat> to, to be on, finally on her own and eat, enjoy a, a bowl of noodles. Um, <clears throat> her loud family, um, they include mom, grandmother, pregnant sister and brother-in-law, is also um, insisting on the... Um, having wanted to know the romantic outcome of this night out and and it's very easy to understand that, that they all want to see the 30 year old Kasumi finally married even if she frankly showed no, no signs at all of interest in the whole um, dating business um, the mum in particular is so desperate that at some point with the false promise of going shopping she drags Kasumi uh, to a very cringy arranged matchmaking lunch um, with another mother and so on. And funny enough, the son is the owner of the ramen shop where Kasumi is a regular. And then they confess each other the, the complete lack of interest in romantic relationships. Um, and so is that maybe is the beginning of a relaxed friendship without romance in, in, uh, inside. Uh, or at least is what, uh, is what Kasumi hoped for. Um, but soon enough, the, bo the boy falls for her, and in a very painful to watch moment, Kasumi try without success to explain to him that it's really not personal, uh, but she really has no sexual attraction or romantic feelings for anybody, not just for him, and um, she defines herself uh, um, asexual. Kasumi has another glimpse of hope of, an, of, a, of a friendship when she reunites with, uh, with uh, former classmates Maho, played by Atsuko Maeda, and, uh, who is a bubbly ex-porn actress who also likes to, uh, to challenge, but in, in, in a bolder way, the cliché attached to the, the woman's role in society. And together they spend some happy time, and Kasumi uh, absorbs uh, some of Maho's strength and, and, and energy at the point <clears throat> that she creates her own upside-down version of Cinderella for a, a children's show in the nursery where she, she now works. Um, they also decide to go uh, to go live together but love and romance again uh, get in the way for Kasumi and uh, not in, in a positive way this time again and um, and so she her feeling of in, inadequacy uh, a back like a cloud in, in, in Kasumi's life while uh, the, the general understanding of the LGBTQ communities I'm uh, 
definitely improved in the, in in recent years. Uh, people who identify as uh, asexual or also called aromantic um, have remained basically largely unknown. These people who don't have any interest in sex or don't hold any romantic feelings towards other uh, others. Um, are often exposed to, to frustration and painful experience, mainly due to the lack of understanding by others. Um, the existence of love, sex, and romance is usually given for granted, and even children in, in Kazumi's nursery school can help mimicking uh, the grown-up kind of flirting, romantic inclination, rejection, I am what I am opens the door to a, a rarely portrayed, uh, a considered community, and uh, to the to the sadness of always feeling faulty, but also to the solace that comes when you discover that you're not alone. After her noticeable performance in last year's multi-awarded Hamaguchi's Drive My Car in the supporting role of the introverted chauffeur uh, driver Misaki, um, Toko Miura uh, lands her first protagonist role here, playing um, in a way a, a very similar a very similar character. She's without a doubt very cut for this kind of character that one that defies the, the stereotypical cute protagonist of the uh, of the classic Japanese romantic movie. Uh, her intense uh, facial expressions and tomboyish mm -hmm. as, um, appearance uh, mirror uh, a troubled and, and solitary soul. Um, and in fact, the, the, the most poignant scenes of the film um, are when, when Kasumi is silent watching the sea from the shore, uh, thinking, and uh, the shore is the safe place where she always returns after yet another disappointment. Indeed, uh, in this slice of life uh, episodic movie, the frustrated uh, protagonist, Kasumi, moves from one failure to the other. And even when she manages to connect it, to connect uh, to some seemingly like-minded people, um, for, you end up that for them it's only a temporary occurrence. Sooner or later, a romantic feeling, either for Kasumi or for someone else, uh, creeps in and, and spoils everything. Ultimately, the, the film's ambition is to challenge the, the, the perception of gender roles and, and to show uh, through the protagonist's adventures the, the, the topic of romantic love is not something that is universal to all people. Uh, I Am What I Am has the great quality to offer, of offering visibility to to a realm uh, that is often denied or mistaken for some sort of mental issue. And um, it's, a, it's also a, a very uplifting encouragement to be true to yourself. And, uh, and in this, the film is incredibly refreshing. Um, it is laced with humor, it's tactfully written, and uh, it's strangely relata relatable um, for a film that describes such a specific frame of mind. Um, other than the aforementioned uh, Mura's perfect cast, I have to emphasize here the, the, the equally good Atsuko Maeda, who injects the, uh, an energetic boost uh, to the story. And the chemistry between the two girls is really, really tangible. Also, if you are familiar with um, Takumi Kitamura, the, the heartthrob leader of the... Um, the Japanese uh, uh, pop rock band Dish, uh, you you definitely will enjoy his cameo here in in the role of an asexual, a romantic um, person who invites Kasumi out for a for the perfect uh, a romantic date at the multiplex cinema. Uh, each one of them in a, in a different screen, watching different movies. And finally, uh, the original song Kaze Ninare uh, was composed by Moeka Shiotsuka and is performed by Itoko Miura herself. This is it for today. Uh, these were my thoughts about I Am What I Am by Shinya Tamada and you can find the review also on the website asianmoviepulse.com.
please su subscribe to our channel for reviews, interviews, festival dispatches and more from Asia Movie Pals team. Okay? Bye-bye.